Hello and welcome. I'm at Red Hill Aerodrome. We've got very light winds, pretty much clear skies, so I'm going to do some instrument practice today. I've got my restricted instrument rating renewal due by the end of this year. I haven't flown much IMC, so we're going to stick the visors on, or the visor on, and uh, give the brain muscle a little bit of exercise. Today we're going to do the uh, ILS at South End. Hopefully we'll be able to do the full procedure which will involve some NDB tracking, some holding and then uh, coming down the ILS and my instructor is going to be Jan. How are you? Very well, you brought glorious weather. I know, perfect for a, for a, for a instrument flight. It's now. the perfect IFR weather. <laughs> I know you arranged it John. <laughs> I'm really rusty. Being based at Red Hill means I've had to cut down on my flying in IMC. It's a skill I don't want to lose, so I'm going to get a brush up, take my revalidation test and pledge to do more IFR practice going forward. Hello, 1212. Got you loud and clear. Yep, perfect. Jan is a business jet captain, ex-airline pilot and GA flight instructor. One really important thing I was taught before launching on an IFR flight was to be as prepared as you can be. So South End is 362. Yeah. Their approach is 130780. Big in I got for you. I got big in in there. Okay, good. So South End approach 130780 is in there. Perfect. Big in is 129405. That's ready. Perfect. So, just um, big in VOR 1151. She's in. Perfect. And we got the South End ILS in. Yeah, that's very good. And I see you've got the 063 six, six, three. there. Yeah. Very good. So we're kind of. Uh, ADF, you already have. Remote. See, me, we need big in. Which will come on when we're up. Yeah, anyway, we've got the it's distance on, remote. on the GPS. Yeah. So this is all very good. Which way should we go? Should we go over the heli ramp there? Oh, uh, yeah. Or you could take left hand, as you wish. After getting taxi clearance, we head for the holding point of runway 36. Temperatures and pressures. Oh, press it, heat, cold, control check. Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. Sorry. I'm used to that, that was my long legs. <laughs> Pre-takeoff checks are vital on any flight, but particularly so if you're taking off into IMC. In IMC, it's not so easy to return to the field. Uh, and we've got transponder ready to go on. Perfect. So, uh, left-hand seat takeoff from runway 36. Uh, the length is not limiting. We've got 851 and we need 682. Okay. Whenever I'm flying with another pilot, I read out my pilot briefing and establish who is responsible for what. Jan and I have already established that he was in command, as this was a training flight. Um, we'll do a short field obstacle clearance takeoff just to make sure we get over those uh, trees yeah. there. Good plan. And um, after departure, we'll go over to Godstone, wasn't it? Correct. That's why we leave the Red Hill Zone. How current are you on PA-28s? Do you want to take control in the event of an emergency? Oh, I'm very, I'm pretty current because I used to fly them so much in the old days. So, yeah. do you want to take control in the event of an emergency? That's I'll, fine, I'll, I'll be I'll comfortable take the radios, that. yeah? Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, any, I'm happy with that. Any problems or any thoughts or are we uh, no. good to go? No, it's good. Okay, I'll just swing around. Uh, very good preparation, uh, you've got all set up. Very good. Let's see. I wish all my students did that. <laughs> got Oscar right there, holding Charlie 1 ready for departure. Drop off Jeremy Roger, edge, wish to meet via Godstone or on a direct track towards Diggin. Godstone, please, go off Jeremy. Drop off Jeremy, after departure, leave via Godstone, not above altitude 1,400 feet. After departure, route via Godstone, not above altitude 1,400 feet. Go off Jeremy. Go off Jeremy, line up runway 36. Line up runway 36, go off Jeremy. Clear on approach. Yep. Clear on approach, Jeremy, line up runway 36, right turn, cleared for takeoff. Surface winds 330, 5 knots. 
We have a takeoff runway 36 with a right turn, Golf Oscar Rio. So we've got a slight crosswind from the left by the looks of it. Okay, engine temperatures and pressures are in the green, full power. We're squawking altitude and we've got the landing light on. So power is normal. Airspeed's coming alive, 50 knots. And here we go. Golf Bravo November Echo Lima, Mitchell Tower, flash your message. Um, Temperatures and pressures are okay. Golf Echo Lima Tower, taxi across the grass, cross one way 36, centre by a fox shot here. Across the grass, cross runway 18, enter via Foxtrot Sierra uh, Golf Echo Lima. It's quite high, isn't it, this ground? Yep. But you're flying the right speed, and that helps. <laughs> So where's the A25? Have we approached it yet? Yeah, it's coming. Just going to get the flaps in. I always tell people to fly to the right of the sand pit. There's the sand pit. And if you fly to the right of the sand pit, you'll find custom. That's flaps the, are up. That's the best way to find it. Because usually you see the sand pit, but you don't see Gotham. There's the A23. Yeah, it's right here. So we've got 400 to go at yeah. for our maximum. Temperatures and pressures are okay. It's a good landmark, this yes, is it, yeah. Because the color always stands out in the green, also from the distance. Golf Oscar Romeo Godstone, request frequency change, beacon approach 129, decimal 405. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 7000, free call, begin approach, bye bye. Squawk 7000, Golf Oscar Romeo. Red Hill is very close to Biggin Hill, so I need to get my call in quickly. Biggin Approach, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, request site transit. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, Biggin Approach, pass your message. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28, Red Hill to Red Hill, VFR. We're at Godstone, altitude 1400 feet, 1019, uh, request uh, routing overhead. Golf Oscar Romeo, basic service, the QNX is 1020, Squawk 7047 and report overhead. Basic service, uh, Squawk 7047, QNH 1020, report overhead, Golf Oscar Romeo. So we're out of the zone, let's get a climb yeah, up. Yeah, good plan. Now you can do a direct on your big. And your desired track is 046, which is can set on your nav one. That's it. And you're heading back and off you go. Thank God, Oscar Romeo. See you just again, you're rooting off to the beginning overhead. To go pop. Uh, to go pop uh, in the direction of south end, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, traffic is a Phenom jet just about to establish on the ILS, range eight miles. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger. Eight miles. We could go to 2004 and then maybe you ask him. We could fly a bit in the cloud. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fun. Then. Why not? Hey, Golf Oscar Romeo, request to climb then to altitude 2,400 feet uh, IFR. Golf Oscar Romeo, uh, if um, you can, uh, no no traffic to affect in your good transit, the ATZ at 2,400. Clear to transit to 2,400 overhead, Golf Oscar Romeo. It make, actually makes his life easier because yeah, the missed approach, missed approach altitude for that aircraft is 2,000 feet. So you'll be above it. That's nice, isn't it? 
Excellent stuff. Temperatures and pressures are okay. You see how easy it is? It is today. And you I know why it's so easy? Because you're you, here? No, you, you prepared it well. <laughs> if you prepare stuff, things go, you can also take a difference then. And this is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And we're IFR and not to worry about guys below us. Perfecto, 2400. Fantastic. Here we go. So, south end. Yeah, good time to get the H's. Cloud view at 2,500 feet. Temperature 17. Dew point 1, 1. Q and H 1, 0, 1. Q 9, hectopascal. Threshold QB 1, 0, 1, 2, 7, hectopascal. Okay, so we got uh, two, three. Very good. Golf Oscar Romeo, report passing of Eames on me. Okay, Golf Oscar Romeo. Excellent. So we want uh, 063 outbound. Yeah, it, that will show up. See, it's already telling you. Now 063, you change the course, 063, and you go on course. Just follow the GPS. So we can hold this heading until we intercept. Will it be a backtrack yes. or a vacate Yes, yes, you can. You can expect to backtrack. Oh, it's going We're perfect. You join. So we're almost on the intercept. Yeah, it's a bit wind from the left then. We'll make it uh, 055. Yeah, it sounds good. So the next thing we could do is run the approach brief. <laughs> Where have I put my chart here? Oh, it? I'll get you the chart, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, two, three. How do you how do you like to in, in chronological or shall I give an example? Yes, please. And, yeah. and then you do one yourself. Yeah. So we're in about go pub then share November Delta for the ILS two three. Probably planning a halt first via the S and D. Uh, the inbound is zero here. five four. And once we're cleared, it's going to be procedural uh, 2,500 or as cleared on the outbound 044 to 9 GME, descending 2,000 feet or as cleared for the ILS 23 course 234. Three degree glide pass, decision altitude. Normally it's 238, but for the IR rating, it's 500 plus 50 plus the runway elevation, which makes it 590. Uh, normally at South End, the mist approach is straight ahead to 2000 or one minute after, whichever is later, then right to the locator at 2000. But very often you will have amended instructions and uh, it will be just straight ahead 2000. Approach speed 90, flaps one. Uh, anything from you, John? Note that I have a UK-only IRR rating. It's restricted because the level of training is reduced. I'm out of practice and most of Jan's briefing went in one ear and out the other because I'm overloaded just flying the aeroplane and the conditions are pretty benign. Jan uses Jeppesen charts, which I don't because they're very expensive. So I pull out my own chart printed off from the AIP. Which is the uh, SND, right? SND, yeah. Um. That was D N and D, wasn't it? Dub, dub, dub. Yeah. Just, yeah, that's good. Yeah. And then the ILS is going to be in there. Golf Oscar Romeo, Beam Swanley, request frequency change, south end radar 130.780. Golf Oscar Romeo, squawk 7000, freeze on south end, bye bye. Squawk 7000, Golf Oscar Romeo. Second approach, November. There we go. Okay, good grief. Uh, so we are 20 miles to the southwest. Yeah. South end radar, Golf at Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, inbound to Go Pop. Uh, I have Romeo 1019 at 2,300 feet. 
Squawk 3,000 feet, no navigation, Sierra November Delta, Wilco, Golf Oscar Romeo. Okay, so it's uh, 40 degrees to the right. And you could do the direct on the GPS. Desired track is? 083. Yeah, so. That needs to go down. That's it. Um, 0-5 on there. Nice, some actual time for you. Excellent. <laughs> this is so much better than under the hood. <laughs> well, it's the real thing. Yeah. And I encourage you to look outside as well. Observe the cloud, the weather. This is one problem with IFR training, that we train people to only look inside. But actually, when you fly IFR, please do look outside for weather, aircraft, anything. So coming up on 3,000? 3,000 to meet. So 
So we're taking up the hold. Yeah. So it's a left-hand hold pattern. It's going to be direct from this angle. Yeah. Um, if my brain would let would let me <laughs> do work that out properly, I would. But I, I don't have the mental capacity to work that out. But I can see it's a direct entry. Yeah, it is a direct entry. So your brain is not doing that badly. Well, just I'm just doing it by look. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's what we like. Because it works much better than all this arithmetic. I like you to see where you are when you look at your instruments. Golf Brother Hotel of Columbia, after the missed approach, your clear to lease controlled airspace on track towards Detlin at altitude 2,000 feet. After the missed approach, uh, clear to lease controlled airspace via Detlin 2,000 feet. Golf Brother Hotel of Columbia, approach. So my outbound track to, to, to do this is two. Uh, sorry, 246 is my heading uh, yeah. out. That's going to give me and, and with the, the wind correction. Correct. The track is 234 and you said your heading is 246. Yeah. Perfect. See, we've got one mile to go. How about you put the inbound course on that, 054. And now the last bit, you just, just fly on the needle yeah. until it flicks. We're now at the Sierra November Delta NDB. We know that because the ADF needle falls away, and that's the cue for us to turn outbound into the hole. Okay, it's just flipped. Fantastic. So we we'll go around left to the left, and um, we're heading 246. Yep. Excellent. Great one. Very good. Two, three, threshold. Golf Oscar Romeo taking up the hold. Golf Oscar Romeo, it's above 3,400 feet, and after the two, three numbers, you can route direct Dells Cone. So not above 3,400, and after the two, three, I can route direct towards Dells Cone. Golf Oscar Romeo. Great. Golf Oscar Romeo, so is that you entering the hold? Hey, fab, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, thanks. Report when ready for the first approach. Report when ready, Golf Oscar Romeo. He's assuming there's more than one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think we need more than one. No. Time is money. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Here, the runway Golf over there. Tango, Tango Alpha, South End, Radar, Just waiting for it to come past. Yeah, to come a beam. Partial assist. Start of time. What was I, what was uh, I just doing? Fuel. Fuel yeah. That was 11.40. Tango, Tango Alpha. Uh, Do you ever use the timer on the ADF, the old-fashioned way? I haven't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why don't you try? If you press this button, FLT ET, put it on ET, elapsed time, and then the button there, you you press it when you need to start. There we go. And it's bloody good. Five seven five basic service. Uh, school 4575, basic service. It's a very good timer, and it's panel mounted, so... Next time over the beacon, we'd be ready to... Um, yeah. Commence the approach. If I'm go up Oscar Romeo. Go up Oscar Romeo. So on the outbound, we can descend down to 2000 to yep. DME 9. Now imagine, no, I have an interesting question for you. One minute. Imagine, yeah. And the You're at 3000 on the inbound track, and he clears you the approach. When can you descend 2500? Say again, when you're inbound. When you're uh, on the inbound to the S and D. When could you descend to 2,500 feet? After the beacon. Yes, sir. Many people descend too early. Do they? Yeah, but you can't. That's the correct answer. Very good. <laughs> As I'm turning, I'm looking at the ADF to see what bearing we're going to end up on coming out of the turn. The wind forecasts aren't quite an exact science, and sometimes the wind corrections don't quite work out. So currently looking at this, it's showing sort of 4-0 at the moment. We want it to be 5-4. Yeah. Now we went a little bit yeah. through. Can't uh, exceed the. So we'll go through. Golvaska Romeo is cleared to commence the ILS procedure. Maintain altitude 3,000 feet until instructed. Report beacon outbound. Cleared to commence the procedure. Maintain 3,000 feet until instructed and uh, report beacon outbound. Golvaska Romeo. Okay. So we're at three. So we're tracking three yeah, zero three at the moment. Yeah, you're correcting, see, but yeah. we overshot the inbound track a bit. That's probably because we came in direct from the... From well, it yeah. shouldn't have made a difference, actually. Uh, yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference. So, yeah. 
The inbound is 054 is what we actually want. Here we are coming, coming up to 045 now. And, uh, yeah. Good morning, stand by your number three to be called back. And then we, I'll put procedure and we can activate the Bravo press. traffic is an Airbus A319 departing runway 237. Yeah, so we want traffic out from the beacon. Yeah. Uh, 044 is the trail. So I press procedure now. Go for scrum here, we're out from the beacon. Go for scrum here, descend to altitude 2000 feet, cleared ILS runway 23. Descend altitude 2000 feet, uh, cleared ILS runway 23. Go for scrum here. So that needs to be 044. Oh, you've, you've activated. Yeah. Uh, we are 044 for a moment, that's fine. Just a quick question for you. Will you fly the ILS on the 2 and you keep that on yeah. GPS? Yeah. So then you need to set the course 234 on that one. So three and a half, we're going to nine, down to two. Easy eight, one November Lima, report your assigned heading to Thames Director one three three decimal. So fuel radios, engine temperatures and pressures are in the green. Direction indicator is aligned. Altimeter one zero one nine. Brakes. Radar control inside controlled airspace. Undercarriage mixture is rich. Fuel light, landing light. Can't beat. We've just done. We're doing. Fuel strapped in. And uh, we're waiting for our. Well, we got cleared for the ILS. That's it. And we're at five miles. How about just for the approach you go under the hood? I have control. Go for from Lima Roger, your transponder equipped. Negative transponder, go for from Lima. Go for from Lima, both okay. service. You'll have control. Right is clear. Go for Victor Lembrosco, Saturn, radar standby, I will call you. Lembrosco. Here we are, we're coming in. Yeah, very nice. Stuff at Radar, good morning, Golf Mike India, Sarah Juliet. Just relax. Golf Mike India, Sarah Juliet, South and Radar, pass your message. Good morning, Golf Mike India, Sarah Juliet is a sport cruiser, one PAB, VFR, Rochester to Andrews Field, just crossing the Thames now. 1800 feet, request to a basic service. Golf Sarah Juliet, basic service, QH1. Final approach point is at 6 miles. 457 basic, 1019, Sergio Juliet. Golf Oscar Romeo, contact South Intel, 127.730. 127 decimal 730 for Tower, Golf Oscar Romeo. South Intel, good morning. Now, you know, first fly and establish on the glide slope. Aviate, navigate, he knows you're coming. He can wait a second. To coming make, up, coming make up. Make sure you're nicely settled on the glide slope. And nicely in trim with the right speed. You want to slow down a bit. South End Tower, Golf Alpha Victor, November Oscar. Golf Alpha Victor, and put it Oscar, nicely in trim. Report downwind right hand runway 23. Report down about 4 or 500 feet three, a minute. Oscar. Yeah, looking good. Nicely in trim. Stable. Oh, now it's time for the guy in the tower. South End Tower, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, established on the localizer 23. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, South End Tower, runway 23, cleared low approach, wind 230 degrees 5 knots. Cleared low approach, 23, Golf Oscar Romeo. Now, the, exactly, the speed is power, and glide slope is controlled via your pitch attitude, just the other way around as you learn for PPL as you're doing a rate descent. What I'm doing here is keeping the two sensitive needles in the middle. This needle shows whether I'm to the left or to the right of the approach course. This one tells me whether I'm high, low or on the right glide path. The needles get more sensitive the closer to the runway we get. Keep, Glad it, I keep well, your well, rate well, of well, descent well, constant well, and well, well, taxi holding point Alpha 1. Taxi holding point Alpha 1, uh, so
500 to go. Very nice. Ryan, I'm telling Jerry, go off, lady, with a voucher, I want to reach it. Okay. It always happens to me, just on the last 100 feet. <laughs> just concentrate, you're doing fine. Southampton, I'm going to switch down with the two, two, three, right. We're there, we're going to go around. Okay. Okay. Roger, you are number two behind the Cherokee now on a one and a half mile final for a low approach, report final. Full power. Now number two, report final. Climb rate coming out. Flaps away. And we want to uh, southerly sort of track, don't we? Uh, yeah, but we have to fly to the missed approach okay. point. You can't cut short. Just so your, your right hand on the, the mist power. The missed approach point is the threshold. Yeah, okay. the close to the threshold, just a bit. Do you fly the back course or the... Oh, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could. Got Oscar Romeo going around. Got Oscar Romeo, Roger. So you always fly the go around to the missed approach point? Yes, yes, otherwise you would do an early turn. Yeah. Basically, it's all designed to, to be flown off minimas, and the minimas here are quite low, so that's 200 feet approaching the threshold. Yeah. So we were clear to 2,000, I think. That's right. See, we're coming up to zero DME, so at zero DME, you, could, you can now start this turn to that way. So, if you go on your GPS... Director Jetlag? Yeah, you go flight plan, oh. flight plan, cursor, scroll it down, that should be... You now, further down, you put that link somewhere. You had it in. Yeah, there it is. And you press direct and enter. Activate the GPS by that button. Read the design. Set your heading back, and you're in business. Two, four, five. Perfect. Go for Oscar Romeo, contact South End Director, 132.455. 132.455. 132.455. South End Director, 132.455. Go for Oscar Romeo. This was a great brush-up flight with Jan and I learnt a lot from him. Later that month I took my revalidation test and passed. His feet is really building. If you'd like to see the rest of my training flight with Jan, which included recoveries from unusual attitudes, compass turns and limited panel, then visit my website for a premium subscription. Please subscribe and give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Next time I fly my son to Rotterdam for a few nights. Until then, fly safely, my friends. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, good stable approach and a good brush up of the instrument skills, some uh, extra stuff on the GPS. Good job, well done. <laughs>